हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर सुरेंद्र कौर प्रोफेसर खालसा कॉलेज ऑफ एजुकेशन रंजीत एवेन्यू अमृतसर वेल स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द टॉपिक कंटिन्यूस कंप्रीहेंसिव इवेल्युएशन द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द टॉपिक आर टू डिस्क्राइब द मीनिंग ऑफ कंटिन्यूस एंड कंप्रीहेंसिव इवेल्युएशन to explain the objectives of continuous and comprehensive evaluation to discuss the main features of continuous comprehensive evaluation to elaborate the need of continuous and comprehensive evaluation and to know about the difference between scholastic and co-scholastic evaluation now first of all we will discuss the meaning of evaluation evaluation is a word known to everyone however the word is used in many different contexts the term evaluation means to make judgment by providing marks and grades on the basis of level of achievement the most common way of evaluation is half yearly and annual examination sometimes teachers evaluate the students performance by providing them unit test weekly test monthly test and all these tests have their own purpose but to ensure that whether students learning is taking place teacher plan to evaluate to see whether learning is taking place or not evaluation is related with students learning with a general belief that it is an end term activity to ensure students progress regularly whether their achievement level is up to mark teacher has to assess them continuously evaluation is a continuous process and it is comprehensive in nature which is carried out at the end of unit regularly and periodically scholastic and co-scholastic evaluation is a part of comprehensive evaluation which is carried out regularly covering all the aspects of students learning let us discuss the meaning of continuous and comprehensive evaluation continuous and comprehensive evaluation is a school based assessment with the coverage of all aspects of students development the term continuous defines that it puts stress on the process of evaluation in teaching learning and thus spread over the entire span of an academic session continuous means to emphasize the evaluation of defined aspects of students growth and development it is a continuous process rather than an event related with the total teaching learning process the term comprehensive means that it assess the all round development of the child's personality which cover both the scholastic and co-scholastic aspects of child's growth and development now we will focus on historical background of continuous comprehensive evaluation as we know that examination is a crucial process of our education system to determine the effectiveness of teaching learning process but today's examinations are not as effective as they are to be in order to bring the quality improvement in educational evaluation various committees and commissions like sedler commission hartor committee report sergeant report mudelier commission and the hunter commission have recommended for the change of examination system and suggested and encouraged the internal assessment through continuous and comprehensive evaluation in this connection the national policy on education 1986 states that continuous and comprehensive evaluation that incorporates both scholastic and co-scholastic aspects of evaluation spread over the total span of instructional time 
Further, the review committee report of NPE 1986 lays down norms for continuous and comprehensive internal evaluation and suggests a safeguard against the use of this evaluation system in 1991. In 1992 report of the Central Advisory Board of Education Committee on policy brought out by Ministry of Human Resource Development Government of India has also referred to the provisions of NPE with regard to evaluation process and examination reform also suggested continuous and comprehensive internal evaluation of scholastic and co-scholastic achievement of the students the kothari commission report observed that on the completion of the course at the end of the lower or higher secondary stage the students should receive a certificate from the school also giving the record of his internal assessment as contained in his cumulative record it further suggested that this internal assessment or evaluation conducted by schools is of greater significance and should be given equal importance it should be comprehensive evaluating all those aspects of students growth and development that are measured by the external examination and also those personality traits interest and attitudes which cannot be assessed by it similarly the national curriculum framework 2005 in the examination reform report through ncert mandates that every school should change their traditional evaluation system to cce with these major objectives like first reduce stress on children second evaluation system should be regular and comprehensive third provide space for the teacher for creative teaching and provide a tool of diagnosis and for producing learning with greater skills thus with the considerations of all the above recommendations the ministry of human resource development has recently brought the scheme of continuous and comprehensive evaluation as an inseparable part of the examination system with the view of developing the holistic profile of the learner through continuous comprehensive evaluation now we will discuss major terms related with continuous comprehensive evaluation that is scholastic and co-scholastic assessment the objective of continuous and comprehensive evaluation is to take care of both scholastic and co-scholastic aspects of learner over the whole academic session which not only emphasizes on the intellectual development of the learner but also it helps to remove the tension they feel in annual examination system scholastic assessment is done formally and informally using different techniques of cce the problems of poor performance of learner in some unit are traced by using diagnostic tests and are removed with the appropriate intervention of remedial measures scholastic areas are assessed with two types of assessment it has been observed that usually the scholastic areas such as knowledge and understanding of the facts concepts principles etc are subject to be assessed the features of formative assessment are it provides continuous feedback to both teachers and the learners it diagnoses the problem areas and provide immediate remedial measures to learner learners become more active in this process for the better achievement on the basis of the needs of the students teachers understand how to improve the performance of the students it recognizes the importance of assessment on the motivation 
and self esteem of students it enables teachers to adjust his teaching on the basis of the result of the assessment and incorporate different learning techniques in deciding what and how to teach the features of summative assessment are it measure how much a learner has learned from the course it is usually a graded test it measures or sum up how much it is marked according to a scale or set of grades it certifies the level of achievement only in a given point of time generally course holistic assessment is done by using multiple techniques on the basis of identified criteria assessment of course holistic area is done at the end of the year on a five point grading scale where assessment in life skills is done on the basis of indicators course holistic areas of evaluation include thinking social and emotional skills attitude towards teachers schoolmates school program environment and the value system co curricular activities include both literary and non literary in literary creative skills scientific skills visual and performing arts leadership and organization of programs are included in non literary areas sports ncc gardening and areas which are related to health and physical education etc are related the importance of course holistic areas of evaluation has been further emphasized by an upgradation policy of cbse that allows students to upgrade their scholastic grades depending upon their performance in course holistic areas objectives of continuous and comprehensive evaluation the aim of continuous comprehensive evaluation is a shift from memorization of things to holistic learning cce focuses on the scholastic and course scholastic assessment of the learner which means creating a citizen in the classroom having values skills and desirable qualities beside academic excellence it helps a learner to meet the life challenges with confidence and success regularity of assessment frequency of testing diagnosis of gaps or problems provide corrective measures immediate feedback which work as an evidence to teachers and students for their self evaluation are the components of the word continuous whereas working abilities attitudes aptitudes life skills co curricular activities and values are the components which are related to the word comprehensive continuity is related to the measurement of the cognitive aspect of the learner and comprehensiveness takes care of the all round development of the child the main objectives of cce are continuity in evaluation assessment of broad based learning reduce students pressure or stress during or before examination and claimed to bring changes from the traditional method of evaluation to a uniform pattern of students evaluation it helps to develop the three domain skills of the learner that is cognitive affective and psychomotor it encourages the learner to develop their thought process in place of repetition learning or memorization of things it helps the learner to know that evaluation is an integral part of their teaching learning process it helps the learners to improve their achievement on the basis of regular diagnosis followed by remedial measures it helps the teacher to use evaluation as a quality control device to raise standard of performance 
it takes decision about the learner learning process and learning environment by determining social utility desirability and effectiveness of the program it makes the teaching learning process a learner centered activity in ncf 2005 it is mentioned that cce is meant for connecting knowledge to life outside the school it ensures that learning is shifted away from rote methods and reaching the curriculum to provide the all round development of the children rather than remain textbook centric making examination more flexible and integrated into classroom life features of continuous and comprehensive evaluation continuous and comprehensive evaluation related to a system of school based evaluation of students covers all aspects of students personality development the continuous aspect of cce takes care of the continuity and periodicity aspect of evaluation continuous means assessment of students in the beginning of instructions that is placement evaluation and assessment during the instructional process which is formative evaluation done informally using multiple techniques of evaluation periodicity means assessment of the performance done at the end of a unit that is summative using criterion refer test and employing multiple techniques of evaluation the comprehensive component of cce takes care of assessment of all round development of child's personality it includes assessment in scholastic as well as co-scholastic aspects of pupil's growth scholastic aspects include curricular areas or subject specific areas whereas co-scholastic aspects include co-curricular and personal social qualities interest attitude life skills and values assessment in scholastic areas to be done informally and formally using multiple techniques of evaluation continuously and periodically the diagnostic evaluation takes place at the end of the unit the causes of poor performance in some units can be diagnosed using diagnostic test assessment of co-scholastic areas are done by multiple techniques on the basis of identified criteria while assessment in social personal qualities are done by using behavior indicators for various interest values and attitudes need of continuous and comprehensive evaluation in the assessment process all aspects of the learner need to be assessed because education is concerned with the all round development of the child and generally we assess the academic achievement of the child not the whole child means we assess the scholastic part of the child which are reflected through the examination results and neglect the co-scholastic part of the child means the ability to do attitude to learn interest to learn his skills and values etc so to make the assessment process more comprehensive in nature it is necessary that assessment of learning to be done in a wider range of areas both in and out of the classroom situations this assessment provide the information and feedback on the extent to which the school and teachers have been successfully achieved the expected outcomes of education assessment is a purposeful desirable and an enabling process need of cce is to assess the performance of the learner use variety of techniques to collect information about learners learning and progress in different subjects continuous collection and record of information 
give importance to every learner's way of responding and learning and the time taken for learning. Provide feedback that will lead to positive action and help learners to do better. Challenges before CCE. Before coming to the discussion about the problems or challenges faced by CCE, you should know about the conventional assessment system. Conventional mode of assessment is quarterly, half yearly and on annual basis which provides inappropriate weightage to annual examination. It assesses only the cognitive aspect of learners and what has been achieved over a period of time. This is very limited tool for assessment and it provides only marks which is a stressful thing for students. Though assessment takes place at the end of the course, so there is no chance of diagnostic and remedial measures for further improvement. And it is also limited to rote memorization. In contrast, as the word continuous and periodic assessment is the objective of CCE with equal weightage to every examination, it assess the three domains of the learner as scholastic, co-scholastic and non-scholastic. Multiple tools are used to assess all the aspects of learner and awarded grade accordingly. CCE as we know is an ongoing process which includes both formative and summative to reduce the stress of learner. One of the best thing in CCE is that there is a chance of diagnose and remedial measures for learner to improve achievement and performance. Having a good amount of positive points, teachers in the school are facing lots of problems while executing CCE. The first problem is lack of adequate number of trained teachers because after the implementation of CCE, teachers are not comprehending and adopting it how to use as they are conditioned to the traditional system of evaluation. They need time to understand and realize the value of CCE. Though it is an evolving methodology which implies that teachers need to be educated to ensure that they are equipped with necessary knowledge and skills because the success of CCE is largely based on the adoption of the model by the teachers. The second problem is difficulties faced by the students. Due to hasty implementation of CCE, students as well as teachers are under stress and pressure as they are mentally not prepared for it, are facing problem for its proper use. The third problem is the entire process of evaluation is decentralized. Teachers have to prepare the report card manually and a standard or uniform model of assessment has not been followed anywhere. All these things are a matter of stress for teachers. Problems faced by teachers in implementing CCE according to study conducted by Singer 2012, teachers find it difficult to execute CCE in large classes as they are not able to give individual attention in each class. There was lack of appropriate training among the school teachers for the smooth execution of CCE. Another problem faced by teachers reported that there was lack of seriousness among the students regarding CCE as they were aware of the fact that they will pass without making enough effort in academic. Many teachers stated that CCE was time consuming and there were many financial constraints associated with it that does not suit the pocket of every student. Teachers felt that there was lack of adequate infrastructural facilities 
and teaching materials that made execution of CCE a difficult task in the classroom. Most importantly, teachers were overburdened with the increased volume of work that affected their teaching effectiveness in the classrooms. CBSE had introduced and implemented CCE in primary classes that is from 1st to 5th in 2004. In 2006, the board decided to extend it to class 6th to 8th. Human Resource Development Minister Mr. Kapil Sibal introduced CCE for all CBSE schools while making class 10th board examination optional in 2009 and 2010 it has extended for 9th and 10th standard on the basis of the implementation result cbse proposed some solutions for cce it starts with the shortcoming of the traditional system of evaluation which is based on the year end examination and evaluates only the scholastic aspects of education and declares results of the students as pass or fail on the basis of their marks. The solutions are evaluating students continuously on the small portion of content at a regular time intervals that helps teachers to use variety of remedial measures based on students needs and potential taking into the holistic development of the students cce will give equal weightage to both scholastic and co-scholastic areas of development it suggests a shift from providing marks to grade helps students to reduce pressure of getting good marks to understand the evaluation technique Schools should provide to teachers the learning opportunity and online assistance. To make it success, CBSE has identified various training patterns and making them aware about its uses. CBSE has mandated it for all teachers to involve in CCE with their required skills and knowledge. Due to hasty implementation, it needs to be revised and school administration and teachers should work on collaboration to identify a correct metric for students evaluation. In this pattern, rethinking of student teacher ratio is important. Some important solutions are considered for the smooth implementation of CCE in the classroom are to give individual attention to students in large classes. The number of students in classes should not be more than 30 to 40. To make the teachers aware about its proper implementation, they should provide proper training through workshops and training programs. In government schools, proper infrastructure and teaching material should also be provided to teachers to facilitate their teaching learning process. For better knowledge, understanding, application and skill performance by the learners, careful selection, specification and examination of the course should be there. Criterion comprehensive based evaluation is better for assessing learners competencies as well as personality traits and attitudes. For the maintenance of records, teachers need financial support. At the end, in the present unit, we discussed about the concept and meaning of continuous and comprehensive evaluation. Evaluation does not mean a session and activity, rather it is a continuous activity. When we talk about continuous evaluation, it should be comprehensive in nature. Accordingly, we have formative and summative evaluation for CCE and scholastic and co-scholastic evaluation to know learning outcomes. The emphasis 
is to ensure that every child not only acquire the knowledge and skill but also to have the ability to use their competences in their real life situations without any stress and anxiety which often students faces during and after the examination. Thank you.